Good morning, everybody. Amen. Let's begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God His Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today we join in praying with Caetano Francis and Sarah for their special intentions. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let's call to mind our need for God's healing and forgiveness. I confess to all my God, God and to you, you my brothers and sisters, that I have been sin. In my, my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, that by us, this is the Lady of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sinfulness, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord, Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy, Christ, Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord, Lord have mercy. May the Virgin, Martyr, Saint Agatha, implore your compassion for us, O Lord, we pray. For she found favor with you by the courage of her martyrdom and the merit of her chastity. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Continue to love each other like brothers and sisters. And remember always to welcome strangers. For by doing this, some people have entertained angels without knowing it. Keep in mind those who are in prison, as though you were in prison with them, and those who have been badly treated, since you too are in the one body. Marriage is to be honored by all, and marriage is to be kept undefiled because of fornicators and adulterers will come under God's judgment. Put greed out of your lives and be content with whatever you have. God himself has said, I will not fail you or desert you. And so we can say with confidence, with the Lord to help me, I fear nothing. What can man do to me? Remember your leaders who preach the word of God to you. And as you reflect on the outcome of their lives, imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same today as he was yesterday, as he will be forever. The word of the Lord. The Lord is my light and my help. The Lord is my light and my help. The Lord is my light and my help. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Before whom shall I shrink? The Lord is my light and my help. Though an army encamp against me, my heart would not fear. Though war breaks out against me, even then would I trust. The Lord is my light and my help. For there he keeps me safe in his tent in the day of evil. He hides me in the shelter of his tent. The Lord is my light and my help. It is your face, O Lord, that I seek. Hide not your face. Dismiss not your servant in anger. You have been my help. The Lord is my light and my help.
Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are those who with a noble and generous heart take the word of God to themselves and yield a harvest through their perseverance. Alleluia. The Lord be with you all. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said, If anyone wants to be a follower of mine, let him renounce himself and take up their cross every day and follow me. For anyone who wants to save their life will lose it. But anyone who loses their life for my sake they will save it. What gain then is it for a person to have won the whole world and to have lost or ruined their very self? For if anyone is ashamed of me and of my words, of them the Son of Man will be ashamed when he comes in his own glory and in the glory of the Father and the holy angels. This is the Gospel of the Lord. My mother left school at the age of 14 and began to work on an industrial sewing machine in what was effectively a sweatshop in Dublin. And by the time she was 60, it became clear that she was going to pay for having worked on that industrial machine for so long. It was small at first, but eventually she had a hunchback, large lump on her right shoulder and was bent double. And there was nothing we could do, but we knew that she was in a fair amount of pain all of the time. Now they have an expression in Dublin, they say, you show the best face out. And in my mother's case, that meant that she didn't let on how much pain she was in. And in many ways, it was marvelous how fully she was able to enter into everything. The children getting married, setting up their homes, the grandchildren coming along. being present at the first granddaughter's wedding. And I know because people commented on it, her suffering and the way she conducted herself spoke powerfully to people. There's something about suffering which none of us should look for. But when it comes, there's something about suffering which if we understand it as another way of being joined with the Lord's suffering, continues to have a redemptive power, continues to help people see the depths of their human nature and the beauty of that human nature. My mother would not thank me for holding her up as a good example. And I've witnessed many people who were good examples as they coped with 
suffering the cross in their life. So let's pray for ourselves that if and when we're asked to pick up of our cross, if and when we find ourselves having to suffer, that we understand that the way we cope with it as best we can, some of us are better able than others, but the way we cope with it as best we can, as St. Paul says, joins us with the saving suffering of Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given to us and human hands have made. May it become for us our bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For your goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of hands like ours. May it become for us our spiritual drink. Pray now, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. O Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you all. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, a death which he freely accepted, he took bread. And giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his life, death, and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life-giving bread, this saving chalice, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that, partaking in this body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Vincent, our Cardinal Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and deliver us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxiety as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sinfulness, but on the faith of your whole church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With and let's offer each other a sign of that peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of our world. Happy are we, called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter not upon me, but only say the word that my soul shall be. The body of Christ, the blood of Christ. Now I invite those of you at home to take this moment to make your spiritual communion with the Lord. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you all. And may Almighty God bless each one of us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 
Till fourth, our Mass is ended. And thank you all very much.